What's up guys? Today I just wanted to make a quick video showing you the new lock screen that is in iOS 16. Now this is the middle of July and this probably won't come out officially until around middle of September, but I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go ahead and get this for yourself before it is officially released. You can go ahead and download and install the iOS 16 beta right now and that's what I have done and I'm going to show you all of the new features with this iOS 16 lock screen in this video. Okay, so the best part about this new lock screen for iOS 16 is that you can finally customize your lock screen. And to do that, you just go ahead and hold on the center of the lock screen like this. And then you can click the customize button at the bottom below. And you can actually set up multiple different lock screens that you like and switch between them at any time with a couple of taps. And so to add a new wallpaper, just click the button at the bottom here below. And you can see a bunch of presets that Apple has already included. Um, these are pretty neat. Um, there's a weather one here, which will show um, live weather conditions. So as you can see, it's kind of a bit cloudy here where I am today. Um, but if it was sunny or rainy, the background and wallpaper would dynamically change to whatever those weather conditions are at the moment. So you can go ahead and play around with different um, setup lock screens that you have here. Um, but then you can obviously also add your own photos um, and you can even have a photo shuffle where it will select through many different photos on your phone um, and you can have them change for example every hour so that way you can always have a different background and choose from the photos that you have and to customize your lock screen you just click the customize button at the bottom and this will allow you to change three different sections at the top of the lock screen the first one at the top above your clock here it'll let you put a widget showing um, more of a text format and so right now I have 5% rain, so it shows what percentage of chance there is to rain for each day. Um, and you can scroll down and select different widgets here below. So the next one down is you can change the clock itself. So if you click on the clock here, you can change the font and the color of the clock. And if you click the color wheel down below, you can select any different color for this clock and your widgets that you would like. So here I just change it and I made it orange. And then finally, the third option is widgets. So this is where you can put larger widgets um, you can have a one by two or a one by one widget here. And again, you just scroll down and select what you would like. Here I have the weather, shows the high and the low temperature for the day, shows the weather conditions. The next one that I have is a battery widget. So um, this currently shows the battery percentage of my phone, but if I had any headphones or Bluetooth device connected to my phone, it would actually show the um, battery percentage um, for that device that's connected. And then I also have just a circle showing a stock, um, the percentage that it is up and down today. So then when you're done customizing your lock screen, click the done button at the top. And here you can also set a wallpaper pair. So you can have it so when you select this specific lock screen, it'll also automatically change the wallpaper behind your apps. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can go ahead and click customize home screen here to select different colors different pictures, etc., to change what that wallpaper would be. And then when you go ahead and click on that uh, wallpaper that you have, um, it will change and select the background that you have for that selection. So that's all pretty cool. You can also go ahead and set different lock screens to different focus modes on your phone. So if you have different focus mode profiles set up, say one for work, one for sleeping, one for the weekends, for example, you can have it automatically select different lock screens and different widgets for that focus mode. And you can do that by clicking the focus button here at the bottom. I don't currently have any of those set up, but uh, I think it would be very useful, uh, especially if you had work um, focus mode and you can have a different lock screen and wallpaper, maybe a bit more professional while you're at work. And then when you get home, you switch it back to personal and then you have kind of a more creative, um, less professional background. So that's pretty much it. If you like this video, hit the like button below and subscribe. Peace.